Football is a home breaker. It's worse than Kaimata. No be small. Hello, wonderful people. Welcome to my channel. My name is Clara Edith. Thank you if you're a new subscriber. And if you're yet to subscribe, kindly click the red button so to subscribe. So, guys, let's take a look at uh, debates. Housemate had debate yesterday, and uh, it was about football. Like, guys, hey, go do. Um, first, I would like you guys to watch. And now, let's take a look at um, the debate. <laughs> Bella talks he football is always making a husband and wife to have problem and it's always making them to have a, to be violent and it's always making uh, them not to be responsible and she went further setting her brother as an example that there was a time the brother uh, was debating and the brother could group couldn't win so he had to sue his phone just to pay for the debate and because of the way everything went he got picked up and he was wounded so uh because of that he kicked it against football because me myself sometimes you see husband and wife dragging remotes especially when they have one television in the world so you would see husband want to watch this, wife want to watch this, children want to watch cartoons, the same television. So and um, and I noticed that men love football much because to me I feel like football or football is always making them to forget about their their problems. And uh, I also think that football is a nice game that people are making living from football guys because of our economy especially in nigeria here and because of the way things are in the country people tend to use that just to forget about their problems their sorrows their sorrows their worries so they prefer going to restaurants either join to watch the football and uh, fina says fina kicks against it by saying going to joints and all those places to watch football can attract a married man to a side chick because alongside you'll be drinking and if you're unlucky your 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 club loses your tend to be drinking and from drinking you might go home being drunk so uh, she stated a good nice point there but all the same to me it's not still balancing because in life we know what we love and we know what we like best and we know what is good for our body football is the worst side chick that can ever happen to a relationship a, a, a woman Bella for instance cannot have time with her man just because of a football conversation you can you guys remember Chex is a footballer so Rachel is trying to describe Chex for Bella because if it continues like this it could be that Chex might not really have her time oh. <laughs> football wahala in general football is a smart game of mine there are two things in life either you lose or you win and in life generally there are two things that can happen to human being if you're striking for a living either you make it or you lose it and it's not only football that can make wife and husband to have quanta in the household you cannot even you cannot even go close to a man the minute he seems the minute he seems loses loses to an oppo to an opposing team fina says uh, football is worse than side chick do you agree with that uh i do not agree with her because people use football to end their living especially here in nigeria i don't know outside nigeria i'm referring it to my country because I have seen people, like let me say this, there was a girl, a lady that was following me, and uh, she bought something from me. Uh, what she uses to pay was the betting, like football betting. And then, um, according to her, she said she won, and that was the money she uses to pay my debt. So uh, I'm, I would disagree with Fina by saying that 
uh, football causes violence at home, making people, uh, husband and wife, children to be having conflict. No, 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 no. She went for that setting the match between Nigeria and Ghana. So you guys remember the, the match that uh, that Ghana and Nigeria played and uh, Ghana won Nigeria and we, we were not pleased with that because we were hoping to win so we did not so because of the anger they destroyed so many things in the stadium or at the stadium uh, some people who were wounded and all of that I know that anything that has advantage have this advantage she talking about uh, entertainment, these, that, educating people, children. Nowadays, most of our celebrities are leoing people to be doing bad things. Our influencers are not really helping nowadays. I know that uh, a child that will corrupt will corrupt. The one that will learn fast, to will learn fast. The one that will restrict. Thank you. Okay. How many percent? Check. So you cannot force, you can take a cow to the stream, but you won't force them to drink water. So that is it. So uh, another thing I would like to say is uh, yesterday. Belgium, Canada, Morocco, and Croatia. Yesterday, housemates really did well, like her. Uh, Fina all over the place. The game they played, they won. I, I could see. I can. I can spot chats dancing. Like it's really flowing, and things are going well for them. And based on what um, Hermes told Big Brother, that Bella and Checks are not always participating in that. So Big Brother asked them to apologize to the housemates, which they did. You both owe the house. An apology. Do so now. Sorry, housemates. Sorry, guys. Bella apologizes to the housemates. Checks to did same, and hey, they promise to be, you know, uh, to be following up with all the activities in the house. Like guys, I'm excited. Or like, they are doing well. Everyone are doing well. And tomorrow is eviction night. Don't know. Did I say eviction night? Tomorrow is eviction. I don't know who will go and who is going to stay and how many persons are going. Hmm. I don't know, guys. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. My name is Clara Ede. Please subscribe if you're new. Thank you. Edo girls, oh Jesus. See them so beautiful. No be small thing. Big brother, pack them. Enter house this time.